AMC stock is crashing because of a new move the company just did. Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into AMC, some recent news that is causing the stock to crash today, and where the stock can trend to in the near future. Also, click that like and subscribe button to get the most up-to-date information on AMC and the stock market. So guys, getting into it, we do see that on June 3rd, AMC Entertainment Holdings entered into an equity distribution agreement with B. Riley Securities and Citigroup Global Markets as sales agents to sell up to 11,550,000 shares of their Class A common stock from time to time through an at-the-market offering program. Subject to the terms and conditions of the equity distribution agreement, the sales will use reasonable efforts consistent with their normal trading and sales practices, applicable law and regulations, and the rules of the New York Stock Exchange to sell the common stock from time to time based upon the company's instructions for sales, including any price, time, or size limits specified by the company. The company intends to use the net proceeds, if any, from the sale of the common stock pursuant to the equity distribution agreement for general corporate purposes, which may include the repayment, refinancing, redemption, or repurchase of existed indebtedness, acquisition of theater assets, working capital, or capital expenditures, and other investments. So this is very important, guys. This has spooked many AMC investors to start taking on profits because AMC really is going to start flooding the market with new shares. And we do note that once you're starting to flood the market with new shares of your company, that does dilute the share price, right? And that can send it further down. So that's very important to note. The more shares you have out in the market, the less, of course, the value of your shares will be worth. Now, this is going to be very key to see how investors do react to this it seems that many investors are taking profits right now and this can be a case where many more short sellers are actually piling on more short positions so that's going to be very important to look from a retail trader perspective because if people are really getting off of this amc bandwagon right now this can be devastating for the stock and we might see a further plunge but if it is the case that people are taking profits and the apes are going to come back in potentially the short squeeze can be much higher considering that i would assume that short positions are increasing during this time now this of course follows a similar move that happened earlier in the week but retail traders weren't phased by this right but amc raised 230 million from mudrick capital in an offering the company said will allow them to be more aggressive in going after the most valuable assets as well to make other strategic investments in their business to pursue deleveraging opportunities now of course we do note that once mudrick did gain the shares right in their hands they did sell them off at the market to make a nice quick profit of course retail traders didn't react immensely to that back then and they did continue to move much higher now we do see with all these moves that amc ceo adam aaron is doing and the whole executive team at the company they're putting the pressure on their peers running other companies caught up in the meme trade to not just let this market moment come and go so this is very interesting as well guys if you are in other meme stock trades right other trades that are supported by the wall street bets community understand that yes a short squeeze is possible but there might be more share offerings from these companies further driving more sell pressure on your shares and it might be smart to lock in some profits so you can shore up your initial capital now another thing that i want to point out is that amc did warn investors they believe that the recent volatility and their current market prices reflect market and trading dynamics unrelated to their underlying business or macro or industry fundamentals and they don't know how long these dynamics will last under the circumstances we caution you against investing in our class a common stock unless you're prepared to incur the risk of losing all or a substantial portion of your investment so that again is kind of amc telling you straight up there is a huge possibility you might lose a lot of money and that's why we were saying the other day that if amc were to go to an 125 dollar price target from its 62 dollar range that would need an extra 25 billion invested in the company and are retail traders really going to rally into the company with an extra 25 billion i mean it is possible right and of course if the short squeeze does happen and these big companies do have to cover the short positions that can cause the stock to trend to that market cap value you but understand that that does require a lot of buying of amc shares and with the fact that this new dilution is happening in amc stock that is still driving a lot of sell pressure now guys let's head into amc to see where the stock can trend to in the near future so guys getting into the chart of amc you guys know that we have been bullish from this 13 dollar and 50 cent mark right we were calling for an ascending triangle breakout and we did see just that and we trended much higher all the way up to a kind of 450 percent gain in the stock at its recent high around the 72 dollar mark now 
What were we talking about yesterday on AMC stock? Well, we were saying that on the hourly time frame, it might be better for you guys to wait until AMC trends back to his 20 exponential hourly moving average, which is something that we have been getting supported by even during this consolidation period that we did label out can be a huge resistance point. And we said that once it trends back close to the 20 exponential hourly moving average, that can be a nice consolidation area to continue our trend much higher. And we're seeing just that right now, right? We got supported by the 20 exponential hourly moving average at this region, and we're trending currently higher. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't break under these levels. And that can happen if we do see the sell pressure does accelerate into the near future. Now, let's head into the daily chart just to get a clearer picture. And heading into the daily chart as well, guys, you guys see that the 20 exponential daily moving average is also creeping up into this area over here around the 32 to 36 dollar region on amc's chart we also have a gap in this area that can be filled but the first level that we have to be looking at on amc stock is this region over here we were actually labeling out this region on the fibonacci sequence towards the upside right if we take this fibonacci extrapolation at the 618 region this was a level that we were labeling out on yesterday's stream that there can be huge resistance and what are we seeing right now guys we're seeing a huge gap down and we are getting rejected by this level this was, of course, the golden ratio where stocks do like to trend to once we kind of have a blue sky breakout and there really isn't any trading established in this region. That was very important to watch for targets to the upside. Now, the $56 region can be acting as a huge level of resistance like we're seeing right now, and it's going to be very important to see if AMC retail traders are holding the shares to send them higher and how heavy this 11.5 million shares that are going to be put out into the market over the next few weeks potentially does affect its share price. Now, let's head into the weekly chart just to get a clearer picture and potentially outline a trade opportunity and you guys can see on the weekly chart i wouldn't be surprised if we did trend back into this region around the 36 dollar mark that can be an area where many retail traders do potentially buy up the stock but i want you guys to understand that there is huge risk involved with buying the stock at this region because you see we have been really parabolic over the last few weeks having gone up several hundreds of percents but we can point out this potential trade if you guys do believe amc will continue its short squeeze to the upside if amc does trend back into this area so if amc does trend into this area you can potentially be risking around 11 percent on your trade to trend it much higher to reach new highs or even if we do have a bounce back to the 618 level to get rejected that's a five to one reward to risk ratio understand that previous resistance points that we have labeled out over here on the chart like to act as new support regions so if amc does trend into this area we wouldn't be surprised if amc does get supported in this region and has a slight bounce before continuing down or continuing up but again understand that with this huge volatility in the stock right now AMC does have a lot of risk associated with it and that's why you guys need to put a stop loss and prepare yourselves mentally to get out of the trade if you guys see AMC starts closing under this region because if AMC does have a weekly close under this area guys that is going to be very concerning because there's a huge shooting star candle and that is very bearish candlestick price action and we can trend to the bottom levels of this area that can be a new support region but we can label that trade out in another video so guys click that like and subscribe button to get the most up-to-date AMC and stock market information and let me know in the comment section below if you're buying AMC stock. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.